Welcome to Magitoots. Here's a short tutorial on how to add a background to text. Now first of all, let us add some text to our blank project here. You can do that by simply pressing T on the keyboard or you can head over here to text and then simply drag and drop a heading into your project. Now, if you would like to add a background to that text here, you would have to head over to Elements here. In the Canva Elements library, you will find lots of different elements that you could use to put behind your text to make it look a little bit more professional. Now, some great shapes and elements to put behind a text are usually um, squares or rectangles. So you could simply enter here rectangle and then you would drag and drop that into your project. Now let me just choose another color for our rectangle or it's even a square probably and I'm going to choose maybe red. And now you can drag your um, heading over to that um, square and I will just further adjust here the size of the square. And now we have a nice rectangle behind our text. Now you can obviously move everything together. Also, you could go to group here and make those two elements a group. Uh, the advantage of that is that whenever you're going to select um, one of these elements later on, both the background and your text will both be moved at the same time always. Now, if you think that it doesn't look professional enough yet, what you could do is, you, for example, you could choose this um, square border here, drag and drop that into your project, resize it, change the color here, and um, put that around that block to give it a more professional feel. Also, another thing that you could do is you can um, duplicate this element here by simply um, pressing Alt on your keyboard while dragging it downwards and then you can change the color for that second element here to black and then you can move that second element here over your um, red one right click it send to back and now you have a drop shadow for your text box now let me just reposition our text on it and as you can see that already looks much more professional. Another cool element that you can use as a background for your text are brushes. I often use that when I do something like uh, YouTube thumbnails. To illustrate that let me first change the background here. And I will choose uh, maybe something like a yellow background for that and now once again I will head over here to our elements tab and from there I'm going to search for brush now I will just have a look for a nice little brush stroke here I kind of like that brush circle here so I'm just gonna choose that one for the moment I will make it a little bit bigger and maybe change the color to black reposition it and that could also be a nice background for some text I press T on the keyboard to get some text here in the project just gonna write something maybe like um, background for text reposition it make it a little bit larger reposition it Maybe make it bold here as well. And as you can see like this, you can also create nice backgrounds for your text. If you need some more inspiration for backgrounds for your text, you can always also head over here to templates and there you will find a lot of nice um, text boxes and backgrounds for um, text. And you can always just steal that from those templates. Uh, first of all, what you would do is maybe just duplicate the page here. Uh, I'll just um, delete those elements so that we have um, an empty page now. Then you can just drag and drop um, your preferred um, template. 
And let's say uh, you really enjoy how this text looks with that white box in the background. You can just remove all the other elements and you will quickly have just that box and um, the, the according text. Uh, you can't really see the text box now because the background um, accidentally is white as well, but you can just easily change that by going to background here and then choose black for example and you will see that our white rectangle is actually still there browsing the templates is definitely a great way to find um, awesome looking um, backgrounds for for text and also of course just to find beautiful designs you can obviously do that with all kinds of templates. For example, if you like that style here, I will just create a new page, delete those elements, drag and drop that one here, and you have yet another cool background for your text. Last but not least, also don't forget that Canva recently added some nice text effects. To use these awesome effects, just make sure that your text is selected and then head over here to the uh, effects panel. And from there you could, for instance, add a nice looking drop shadow effect to your text that gives your design an even more professional look. Also, you can adjust here the offset, the direction, the blur and the transparency of that drop shadow effect to make it look even better. If you did indeed enjoy this video, I would be most grateful if you could subscribe to my channel and in that case, please don't forget to hit the notification bell. Have a great day guys, bye!